Hi guys, welcome back, and this is baby Hunter. Are you gonna say hi, little boy? Um, I hope that you're all good and that you had a really good week, and I hope you can see me on the screen still. Um, so what we got up to this week, we've had some photos done uh, with Fair Dye Photography, my mate Jess, um, she's absolutely incredible. If you've ever seen her maternity pictures that she did for the tarot cards, um, go have a look on her Instagram and Facebook. She's absolutely brilliant at them. Um, so go and check her out, she's great. What else happened this week? We went to the hospital on last Monday on his two week birthday. Three weeks tomorrow, his birthday is. Three weeks since I gave birth, I can't believe it. Um, so we went and had his hip checked. It's all fine, his hip and joints due to him being born breech. I know in the last video I said his head, his legs were over his head. Um, but they are now, you can't see, but they are now fully stretched out. He's doing extremely well. Um, so we've had, that happened on Monday. The health visitor came and saw us as well. He's got a little bit of jaundice. He's got a little bit of colic. Um, but other than that, he is rocking and rolling. I can't put the bright studio lights on because it is so bright on his little, his little eyes. Um, but we've had a really, really good week. Really good week for the second week of his life. Going into his third, he's smiling. I don't know if you can see, we've got a little bit of a smile kind of going on over here. Um, so yeah, that's it. Back at hospital um, on Tuesday for checking up on the jaundice. He's got prolonged jaundice. So we're going to go to get that all checked out. I'm um, going to see my mum and dad on Monday and also my grandma. So his great grandma gets to see him and hold him for the first time. And that's what's happening in the next week. Um, so that's the update. That's how we are. Enjoy the reading today. I'm missing you all loads. I'm missing uh, doing readings, missing doing tarot. Um, it's very, very strange for me. Like I still pull my own cards, but not reading for you guys. It's, it's kind of like very challenging for me. Um, but having this one in my life is just absolutely perfect. So I can't whinge and moan. It's just, we are on an incredible little journey, aren't we, Hunter Moon? incredible journey um, and we are having a great time minus the colic which broke my heart a little bit but he's doing really well if we're kind of coming out of it now um, hopefully if we can keep it going so i'm sending you all tons of love uh, he's sending you tons of love and we will speak to you soon let me just show you him one more time i don't know if he's gonna wave no he's gone back to sleep all right guys love you loads ciao welcome back I hope you are all okay so this week what we're going to be doing is do they miss you okay so I've got two decks to choose from um I know that I'm fast forwarding and going back in time because obviously I am on maternity at the moment and um, so those of you that are watching with the lights off this is when I have my eustachian tube dysfunction um which I'm hopefully in future energy fully recovered from now but we're going into the dark today so do they miss you deck number one and deck number two now if you're interested in either of this decks this one is the mystic dreamer tarot I picked this up from Glastonbury years ago never really used it so being drawn to that one and this one is the hidden realms tarot both very very beautiful beautiful decks okay so think about your person and as you're thinking about your person just want you to feel that heart centered energy that you have towards them and push it to the deck that you are most drawn to feel those emotions and push it in what happens there is it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between you all, okay, regardless of your circumstances, number one, number two. So a bit like the average at maths at school when we go into all the numbers and then you pull out the average, um, that's what we're doing. Okay, so deck number one, let's do this. Uh, okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one as well. So my guide is saying let's do three more shuffles, bridges, as we call them. I don't know if you can ever see them. I'll show you. I just do it automatically. <laughs> Didn't miss you. Which is fine um, on my decks, but then uh, one of my friends, she's like, you can't do that to the expensive decks, the Baba Studios ones. I'm like, well, it's how we shuffle. Just gets a good energy coming forward from the decks. Okay. 
do they miss you? Does deck number one, do their people miss them? Do they miss them? I should probably not do it with the super expensive decks, to be fair, but it just, it works with the energy. It works well in getting everyone's energy in. I've always done it. Even when I was like, like a kid, um, when I was doing tarot when I was young, but like even playing poker, not that I ever won, I was good with my mates, but I'd be there like, <laughs> do they miss you? Party trick, party trick and bridging the cards. Do they miss you? Four, well, we've got movement. We've got quite a bit of movement. Do they miss you? Do they miss you? Deck number one. Take the top one about three and one more. No, okay, two more. The cards have spoke. Well, let us start off by talking about the amount of movement you have coming up in these cards. So, if we're going to look out of, we've got one, two, three. Wait, how many cards you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Out of ten cards, we have three cards of movement. You have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands, and you have the Knight of Swords. So. Overall, they miss you, but they're not going to miss you for long because they are going to be getting in contact with you in the immediate future. Anytime now. Anytime now. The Eight of Wands often signifies right here, right now, things are happening and there is major shifts going on with you and your person's energy. So yes, right off the bat, there is this very, very strong energy of missing you really straight away movement coming in now your knight of pentacles this guy over here he can be a little bit slow he can be a little bit methodical um he tends to work a little bit more on stability with your knight of swords this is someone that reaches in really quickly and makes this immediate movement and immediate action with the eight of wands over here again signifying the situation moving and shifting okay your person is going to reach out to you in the immediate future they have been feeling very burdened by the connection They've also been, Spirit is saying that they've been a glutton for their own punishment. And the first card that jumped out when I just went into the energy to begin with was the Emperor. So your person has been quite stubborn over the situation. They were thinking that, you know, the situation, whatever happened between you guys, it happened for the right reasons. They were like, yes, I'm fine. Everything's perfect. Everything's great. I am making these choices because I am the Emperor energy. I am super strong. I am the adventurer. And I am going to call this all on my terms. What's happened through that is that your person wasn't kind of expecting the backlash of that in their mind. So they've suddenly gone from, I've got this really stubborn energy to actually, I'm really missing you. I'm very burdened by the situation. I really am longing for the connection between you guys. And again, it's kind of forward focusing burdens. So if we look at this card, very forward focused, all right, he's looking to the right, which to me is always my future energy. So he's looking to the right of this card and even though he's burdened, he's planning the future, okay? Now remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with the cards, there's always a masculine and a feminine, okay? So you've got this forward movement happening from you and your person. He's, they are going to be getting back in touch with you anytime now. Following on from that, we've got the Page of Cups and we've got the Lovers, okay? So we've got an offer of love coming in for you. Quite strong offer of love. So suddenly, I miss you, I love you, I want to be with you, with the full moon in the background symbolising new beginnings happening between you guys, surrendering the old, releasing the old and bringing in the new. And with the Page of Cups, again, an offer of love. Anytime now, anytime now, very strong movement. Your last three cards, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands and Three of Cups. <laughs> new beginnings and celebration. There, this is going to work out. This is going to work out between you guys. This is really, really positive. This is movement. This is shifting. And this is things working into your favor. Big, big energy shifts are happening with deck number one. Do they miss you? Yeah, more than you've ever known. And I just got with that um, Finch letters to you. I'm writing again these letters to you. That takes me back to my teen emo years. Um, but the acoustic version, actually, quite a sad song if you haven't heard it. Um, and I'm, sh I'm sure the, the song was written under different circumstances. But if we just look at the lyrics of, do you know that I'm gone? Um, I, mi I want you to know that I miss you. I miss you so. So very, very strong energy coming up over here of this love energy. This I want you. I want you. I want this to work out with us. 
um, very much in the mind as well. You know, before that perhaps they were letting their fears get in the way and their fears navigate this and saying, oh no, I don't think I can do it. Now their mind has done like almost a 180 and is like, yes, this is what I want. I miss you, I wanna be with you. And with the ones energy as well, we've got this very passionate, creative energy coming up with you both. Your person has realized what they want from this connection and they are gonna make movement towards it and nothing is gonna stop them. And that is deck number one. Really quick deck. I know it's a really quick deck, but there is literally nothing more to say than these cards are extremely positive and your person does want to be with you and they do miss you and they do want the connection to work out and they are making move towards it now. Any time now, if you are not in contact, you will hear from them ASAP, okay? ASAP, deck number one, really positive. Offer of love coming in. They'll probably even say to you that they miss you. You might even get that. A lot of the time, your people aren't very good at communicating about their emotions, but this time you might even get, I do miss you. So that's something to be looking forward to. <laughs> All right, guys, that is deck number one. As I said, literally nothing more to say on it. Really positive cards, cards of movement. It's happening. They do miss you. They're on the way back. That's it. Love it. Love it. What a positive reading for deck number one. How phenomenal was that? Okay, beauties, have an absolutely blessed week. Sending lots of goddess blessings your way. I will speak to you all super soon. Lots of love. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. So we're looking at, does your person miss you? Do they miss you? Deck number two. Think about your person for me. Can we get into the person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought process? I haven't used this deck in ages. It's such a beautiful deck. Do they miss you? We've got a little bit of a block of the overall energy of your people. So let me just get my guys to work through that. That's lovely. Okay. So just two more. My bed is saying two more. Let's start block again. It's clearing that energy. Sometimes the energy can get a little bit blocked around um, around your people. We just have to work our energy around it. It's not interrupting with free will or anything like that. It's just an energetic block. Sometimes it happens if your person's not very good at talking about emotions, etc., etc. Do they miss you? So this relationship is going through a period of transformation. That is the first thing that Spirit is saying to me. And I'm hearing as that happens... I don't know, I don't think I ever watched the Transformers, but I'm hearing something um, transform, like, you know, I'm hearing the words, I'm sure someone once said the word Optimus Prime to me, and I'm hearing something transform, which is quite interesting. Reason why that's coming in my ear, the links that spirit create with people, I tell you. Unless any of you have got a really strong allegiance to Transformers, this is just talking about your relationship moving, shifting. Do they miss you? So we've got a bit of a heavy energy happening with you guys. There has been a few um, difficult times you guys have been going through and there is this kind of effect of self-confidence really coming up that it has shaken the ground you walk on a little bit with deck number two. This situation with you guys, the love is extremely strong. There looks to be a, quite a few people that could have been potentially influencing the situation, okay? So it could be circumstances, it could be friends, it could be people that they work with, it could be family. There could be an influence of other people around the situation, which has just made it difficult for you. Could also be your friends getting their, um, you know, their say, having their say over the connection, saying, no, leave it alone, etc., etc. Either way, there is this kind of burdened energy happening between you both, and it has been affecting your self-confidence and your person's self-confidence. And there is this bit of a break that's happening between you both. Okay, so the energy is a little bit heavy with you guys. It's a little bit unbalanced. It's a little bit like, I'm not really sure what's happening, what's going on, how they're feeling, what do we do, where are we going, is anything going to occur from this situation? So your person at this moment in time is being quite hard with the situation. They're not really allowing it to penetrate much into that energy. So what I mean by that, I'm pulling out these cards for it. What I mean by that, 
is your person is trying to avoid the situation. They have got feelings, they have got emotions, but they're in this sense of denial and really kind of pushing it down under the surface at this point in time. They don't really want to let you in on their heart at the moment because they are a bit annoyed over the situation, almost at the end of the tether with it all, feeling very stuck, very confused, a bit lost themselves, and both of you are mirroring that energy onto one another. So probably a more divine connection here with this mirroring energy is happening, okay? Strong energy, strong feelings for each other, but your person is just kind of avoiding the situation at this moment in time. Um, and we can see that looking at these cards over here, we've got the Star, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups, but we also have temperance, okay? So these four cards kind of coming up over here is the loving energy that the two of you share. It's the hope, it's the things shifting, it's the things moving forward, it's the memories from the past, it's a reconnection, it's wanting it to work, and it's a connection that can go into a future. But with temperance, it's just a not yet. And again, the reason why it's a not yet is because your person is in this very kind of stubborn energy at this point. They are trying to keep balanced on it and they are avoiding the connection. They are avoiding the situation. Why are they avoiding it? Because they're just being, well, we've got this sense of being stubborn with the emperor coming up. Why are they avoiding the situation? Because they're feeling a little bit hurt. Perhaps they haven't communicated things very well. And they're also, at this moment in time, having a good bit of a breather from it all. So it was upsetting them as well. Like I said, your energies have been mirroring. But your person's very good at brushing things under the carpet, so to speak. So where their emotions have been, and it has been a little bit in turmoil, they are brushing those feelings under the carpet, all right? And um, reason for that is because they're stubborn, feeling a little bit hurt, and just thinking, no, you know what, it's probably best if I just take a step back from this for the time being, and focus on myself, and that is where that stubborn energy is, okay? So it's temporary, with temperance, kind of seeing the energy link with those cards, um, and we have, again, these positive cards over here, it's just a bit slow progress, slow progression route forward, a long energy a longer time frame and them coming back towards you or contacting you do they miss you so at the moment they're trying to keep balanced on it all and this is where this transformation is coming through um it's often in the times when we have to really struggle you know we have these difficult times of struggle that we grow as people the most you know and butterflies etc etc they just don't suddenly become a butterfly they're the caterpillar they feed they go into the catalyst and then um they're the caterpillar, they feed and then they turn, they go to the catalyst and then they go into the butterfly. So you have that kind of progression route as this transformation happens and that is the same that's happening with you and your person. So you and your person are kind of going through these individual soul journeys at the moment and the spirit is just showing me the helix again of the more divine connections, how your energies wave in and out of each other's lives as your energy transforms. So you and your person are individually going through these transformation periods right now. There is progression routes over here, but it is a bit, it's a bit of a challenge um, because of your person putting these blocks up and these denials. So for you both, you've got this kind of strength energy coming forward. You've got the Empress energy over here, again, showing that there is growth within this connection, that there is time for rebirth and born and new energy stepping forward, but it's not so easy. There's definitely this need for balancing over things. Um, letting things kind of naturally and feel, letting all that energy happen around you. Also this strength, this kind of protection energy. So if it was getting a bit too intense, it's possible that the situation has happened and you've gone your separate ways just to protect your energies and your person's energies a little bit because your energies just aren't aligning with each other right now. It's not to say it won't happen because your positive cards are over here, that it can happen, that it will happen. Um, but your person has got to get out of this stubborn energy first. And at the moment, they're kind of having a bit of a breather from it all. Um, so let's just ask about that. I'm going to put these away and I'm just going to ask about the breather between deck number two. Can you tell me about their person having a breather from the connection? Spirit are saying with that, it's like a case of hibernation. So it's kind of gone to bed for winter. All right, but it come back out. Just like the, the uh, what is it? is it hedgehogs that hibernate over winter? Foxes, I love foxes. I'm sure they hibernate over winter, because winter, I never hear them in the winter months. Um, so you've got this energy of the, the connection, perhaps just going to sleep for a little bit, not over, but having a bit of downtime 
and again the reason why from that is because your person got quite stressed out over it or felt quite down quite heavy on it and again with the phoenix you kind of got the phoenix here it's this case of the connection rising from the ashes things shifting and transforming it's like it has to go through this period of transformation sun and ten of pentacles it has to go through this period of transformation for growth to happen for things to shift and for energy to change okay and through that you've got this moving things forward and that very strong shift in the connection with you guys so do they miss you they are at this point in time in a little bit of denial about the connection a little bit of denial about how they actually feel about it if we got off the surface level and we looked a little bit deeper then those energies would be longing for you but at the moment your person is hiding away from that very kind of sense of self-deception, self-preservation, just looking after themselves and focusing on themselves for a little bit. There is a love pull, there is a strong connection. And like Spirit said, it's only in a case of hibernation, it's not long term. Um, but right now, the energy of them missing you, they're just really burying it deep and just focusing on themselves. Give them time, give them some time. They'll, they'll come back around. It just, it has to kind of go through that transformation. It has to go through this energy change for you guys. Otherwise you're just gonna keep beating the same, I just saw a pagan drum then. You're just gonna keep beating the same drum over and over and over again. Um, so it has to create those shifts with this energy. Okay guys, and that is deck number two. Um, so I miss you all like crazy. Have a totally blessed week and I will speak to you all soon. Lots of blessings, ciao.